కృపావార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము ప్రేమ లవ్ దేవుడు తన్ను ప్రేమించిన వారి కొరకు సిద్ధపరిచిన స్వాస్థ్యము కంటికి కనబడదు చెవులకు వినబడదు హృదయానికి గోచరము కాదు ఐస్ హ్యావ్ నాట్ సీన్ ఇయర్స్ హ్యావ్ నాట్ హర్డ్ నాట్ హ్యూమన్ హార్ట్ హ్యాస్ కాంప్రహెండెడ్ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ గాడ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఫర్ దోస్ దట్ లవ్ హిమ్ నేటి ధ్యానాంశము ప్రేమ దేవుడు తనను ప్రేమించిన వారి కొరకు సిద్ధపరచిన స్వాస్థ్యము కంటికి కనబడదు చెవులకు వినబడదు హృదయానికి గోచరము కాదు ఐస్ హ్యావ్ నాట్ సీన్ ఇయర్స్ హ్యావ్ నాట్ హర్డ్ నాట్ హ్యూమన్ హార్ట్ హ్యాస్ కాంప్రహెండెడ్ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ గాడ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఫర్ దోస్ దట్ లవ్ హిమ్ దేవుడిచ్చినటువంటి ఆజ్ఞలలో ప్రధానమైనటువంటి ఆజ్ఞ ముఖ్యమైనటువంటి ఆజ్ఞ ఏమిటి అంటే నీ పూర్ణ హృదయంతో నీ పూర్ణ మనస్సుతో నీ పూర్ణ ఆత్మతో నీ పూర్ణ శక్తితో నీ దేవుడైన యహోవాను ప్రేమించవలను తావ్ షల్లావ్ యువ గాడ్ విత్ ఆల్ యువర్ హార్ట్ విత్ ఆల్ యువర్ మైండ్ విత్ ఆల్ యువర్ సోల్ విత్ ఆల్ యువర్ స్ట్రెంత్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ప్రైమ్ అండ్ ఫోర్ మోస్ట్ కమాండ్మెంట్ దట్ ద లాడ్ హ్యాస్ గివెన్ మ్యాన్ దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కమాండ్మెంట్ బికాస్ ద గుడ్నెస్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాన్ ద సేఫ్టీ ఆఫ్ మ్యాన్ is bound with this commandment when god is giving these commandments to his chosen people the children of jacob when israel is at the threshold of the promised land when they are just going to put their foot in the promised land when they are about to inherit the great prosperity when they are going to inherit the land flowing with surplus abundance the land flowing with milk and honey when the israelites going to dwell in the houses that they have not built on their own when the israelites are going to enjoy the grapes from the vineyards that they have not planted when the israelites are going to relish the pleasant fruit of the land the pomegranates the figs and all good things that are in the promised land god is giving giving these commandments with the intention of planning good for his people so long as we follow the word of god we will dwell in peace we will dwell in happiness we will dwell in safety 
we will lend but we will not borrow we will be a blessing to all those around us we will have health in our body we will live long we will have longevity all these are the blessings that are seen that are seen with our eyes that are heard with our ears that our heart could comprehend but beyond beyond this earthly blessings those that love god will inherit more one day or other these earthly blessings will cease or we will be separated from this earthly blessings because we are bound to leave the earth dust thou art and thou shall return to the dust this is the curse as a result of sin as a result of disobedience so long man created in the image of god followed the instructions of the creator god man dwelt in perfect peace perfect safety happiness abundance there is no reason to fear there is no cause for insecurity there is no dearth of resources so long man loved god adam and eve when they were created they are created in the image of god the breath the life of god was in the nostrils of adam and eve they are created to be the children of god when we are children we are heirs if we are children we are heirs what a beautiful relationship god has created man to have relationship to have continued fellowship in this world around us today we see many people longing for love longing for care longing for fellowship how good it will be if there will be someone willing to spend their time with me how joyful it will be if there is someone that can comfort me how good it will be if there is someone that can help me in my trouble in my need i am feeling alone i am in need i am in want i am in sorrow i am sick we see people around us that are sick that are in lack that are in poverty that are in need that have great sorrow in their heart a feeling of emptiness why should i live in this world for what good reason i should continue to live in this world i am alone there is no one that cares for me there is no one that are dependent on me i have no relationship there are many people around us having such thinking having such thoughts when man was created in the image of god man's heart was filled with happiness filled with joy because the lord god every evening god used to give his visitations to his children adam and eve every evening in the paradise in the garden of eden god used to come the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit the three in one the triune god used to give his visitations to adam and eve adam and eve could see god could hear to the words of god could feel god could feel the touch of god and adam and eve used to spend their time with god there was 
no fear there was no anxiety there was no tiredness there was no sorrow there was no uncertainty there was no disease there was no fear of death so long as man loved god man desired the fellowship of god so this one thing we should learn that is to love god adam has seen god adam has heard god he has seen god he heard uh, the words of god they could touch they could feel they could be touched by god so it is easy for them to believe in god but now we are not able to hear the voice of god we are not able to feel the touch of god we are not able to see the god because the moment adam and eve sinned adam and eve stopped loving god the moment adam and eve were deceived the moment adam and eve's heart turned away from god by the lies that have heard from the enemy from the serpent from the ancient serpent the satan the devil the eyes of man were closed the spiritual eyes of man were closed and the physical eyes of man were opened so man could only now see the temporal things the things that are not permanent man failed to see the things that are permanent that are everlasting so the moment disobedience has come the moment sin has come the moment adam and eve stopped loving god by being deceived by the satan what has happened they lost the ability to see god they lost the ability to hear god they lost the ability to feel the gentle and caring comforting healing touch of their creator god their maker their father that is why god is saying god is telling eyes have not seen ears have not heard nor human heart has comprehended the things that god prepared for those that love him means we will again regain our lost glory we will again regain the paradise lost we will again regain our initial esteem means being the children of the god most high when we are children if we are children we are heirs again there will be no more fear no more fear of death no more fear of sorrow no more fear of sickness no more fear of uncertainty to regain the paradise lost to regain the lost glory what we have to do we have to love god this is the first and foremost commandment a young man comes to jesus christ and asks rabboni among the commandments among all the commandments of the lord most high what is the most important commandment this is very good question likewise we should learn to ask whatever questions we have to jesus christ because 
Jesus Christ is Immanuel. Immanuel means God with us. Jesus Christ is the word of God. There is nothing that is unknown to Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is from the beginning. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. I am before Abraham. There is nothing that is created before me. Me and my father are the same. Those that have seen me have seen my father. What else we need to know? What are the clarification we need? What are the proof we require to know that Jesus Christ is the creator God himself? Of course, the circumstances we go, the tribulations we face, the losses we face, the agony we face, the sorrow we face may sometimes cause us to fear, cause us to question. Even the monument of faith, even the blessed among all the men that has been begotten of women had this question. Lord, do we need to wait for someone else or are you the promised Messiah? Are you the Savior? Are you the Immanuel? Do we need to wait for someone else or are you the promised Messiah? Are you the glory of Israel? The monument of faith. the greatest among the men that were begotten of women has this question Lord are you the promised one or do we need to wait for someone else what a wonderful question John the Baptist is asking this question because the situation and the circumstances are troublesome, fearful. When, the John, when John the Baptist is asking this, John the Baptist was unjustly imprisoned. He was put in prison. With no good reason, John the Baptist was put in prison. In prison. When he was in prison, he sends forth few of his disciples to Jesus Christ to get clarification, to get confirmation. Lord, are you the promised one? Lord, are you the immortal God that the prophet Mika has professed that the virgin shall conceive and give birth to a son? And he will be called Immanuel, God with us. Are you God with us? Are you the creator God? Or do we need to wait for the promised Redeemer of Israel, promised glory of Israel, promised Savior of mankind? The question is so clear because the circumstances appears to be testing. We are in such troublesome times. All around us uncertainty, all around us violence, all around us injustice. There is no place for truth. There is no place for trustworthiness. All around we see betrayal. All around we see the righteous being persecuted. So, we have many questions in our mind. All these questions in our mind should not make us unfaithful, should not rob our faith in God. Rather, with all these questions, we should come to Jesus Christ. That is what John the Baptist is doing. 
he was falsely imprisoned wrongly imprisoned who else is more righteous than john the baptist jesus christ himself is testifying there is no one greater than john the baptist that woman has begotten to such a righteous person to such a god fearing person to such a prophet sent forth by god to reveal the messiah to israel what fate he has to meet you see he was imprisoned he was put in prison what a shameful act of mankind for no good reason for only condemning darkness to be darkness for calling darkness to be darkness for rebuking the sin for condemning what that is not good falsely john the baptist was imprisoned blessed are those that are persecuted for the sake of righteousness heaven is theirs the kingdom of god is theirs they will inherit the kingdom of god they will inherit eternal life they will inherit heaven when the circumstances are shaking the faith john the baptist has not lost faith has not stopped to be obedient to the will of god rather john the baptist sent forth few of his disciples to jesus christ and wanted to get clarification lord are you the promised messiah or do we need to wait for someone else the answer is so clear jesus christ will answer so clearly that all our mistrust all our disbelief will be vanished jesus christ said the blind are seeing the lame are walking the gospel of the kingdom of god is being preached to the poor people in captivity are being set free people under the oppression of demonic forces are set free go and convey the things that you have seen to John the Baptist that I am the Messiah the promised one because all the prophecies that the prophets have professed are being fulfilled by me I have come to this world not to break the law but to fulfill the law and to fulfill all the words of the prophets that have foretold the revelation of messiah for saving the mankind for giving man the lost glory for giving man the eternal life that he has lost for giving man the relationship that was broken in the garden of eden because of the disobedience of adam and eve because adam and eve disobeyed god betrayed god loud sin loud satan the message was conveyed to john the baptist blessed is who that will not have any objections in believing in me so those that believe in jesus christ as messiah as the savior of the mankind are blessed 
they will inherit the heavenly kingdom where there is joy where there is happiness where there is abundance where they will have fellowship with god where there will be no more tiredness no more sorrow no more sickness no more suffering no more death నేటి ధ్యానాంశము ప్రేమ లవ్ ఐస్ హ్యావ్ నాట్ సీన్ ఇయర్స్ హ్యావ్ నాట్ హర్డ్ నాట్ హ్యూమన్ హార్ట్ హ్యాస్ కాంప్రహెండెడ్ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ గాడ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఫర్ దోస్ దట్ లవ్ హిమ్ దేవుడు తను ప్రేమించిన వారి కొరకు సిద్ధపరిచిన స్వాస్యము కంటికి కనపడదు చెవులకు వినపడదు హృదయానికి గోచరము కాదు అంత గొప్ప స్వాస్యాన్ని దేవుడు తనను ప్రేమించే వారి కొరకు సిద్ధపరిచాడు చాలామంది ఏమనుకుంటూ ఉన్నారంటే మేము దైవభక్తి కలిగినటువంటి వారము మేము దేవుణ్ణి ప్రేమిస్తున్నాము అని భావిస్తూ ఉన్నారు పైకి భక్తి పరులుగా కనిపించున్నారు కానీ ఆ భక్తి యొక్క శక్తిని ఆశ్రయించినటువంటి వారిగా ఉన్నారు భక్తి యొక్క శక్తిని ఎరుగునటువంటి వారిగా ఉన్నారు పైకి భక్తి పరులుగా కనిపించచ్చు ఆ భక్తి యొక్క శక్తి మీద ఆధారపడినటువంటి వారిగా ఉన్నారు పావులు చెప్తున్నాడు కదా తిమోతికి పావులు వ్రాసినటువంటి పత్రికలో అంత్య దినాల్లో ఎట్లాంటి పరిస్థితులు వస్తాయి అని ఎంతో వివరంగా చెప్తున్నాడు అంత్య దినముల్లో అపాయకరమైనటువంటి కాలములు సంభవించిన అంత్య దినములలో అపాయకరమైనటువంటి కాలములు సంభవించిన ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ డేస్ పెరలస్ టైమ్స్ వెల్కమ్ ఇన్ ద లెటర్ ఆఫ్ పాల్ టు తిమోతి పాల్ ఈస్ వార్నింగ్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద ఎండ్ టైమ్ ఈవెంట్స్ పాల్ సో క్లియర్లీ రైట్స్ ద సైన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎండ్ టైమ్స్ బికాస్ disorder will increase love will disappear there will be no place for love in human heart because there will be absolute lack of justice absolute lack of order in the world that is what we are seeing today we see failure and breakdown of order we see failure and breakdown of justice all around us these are all the signs of the perilous times that we are in and more perilous times are awaiting paul clearly writes to timothy how the end times will be in the last days perilous times will come evil times will come antya dinamulalo apayakaramaina twanti kaalamulu samahinchano manushyulu sajjana dveshuluga untaru ahankaraluga untaru devuni kante sukaanubhavamunu ekkuga preminche variga untaru ajitendriyuluga untaru apavadakuluga untaru maata tappo variga untaru ఇవన్నీ మనం చూడట్లేదా యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభు స్పష్టంగా చెప్పారు కదా రెండు వేల సంవత్సరాలకు పూర్వం ఎప్పుడైతే యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభు ఈ లోకంలోనికి వచ్చారో రక్త మాంసంలో ఏసయ్య పాలివారు అయ్యారో అప్పుడే చివరి దినాలు ప్రారంభమయ్యాయి ఈ యుగముల అంత మందు ఇన్ దిస్ లాస్ట్ డేస్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ కేమ్ ఇన్ టు ద courts of human history as immanuel god entered into the history of man and dwelt in the form of flesh and blood to give grace to man in this perilous times in this last times those that accept jesus christ as their personal savior will be protected from the forthcoming judgment of god forthcoming wrath of god as noah was foretold regarding the forthcoming wrath of god that is going to wipe the human race from the face of the earth because of the violence much violence committed by man likewise this earth is being prepared for fire god has taken an oath during the times of noah after the flooding after the great flood that has wiped all the human race from the face of the earth except the one that was found righteous in the sight of god and found grace in the gra- in the 
sight of God, Noah. Except Noah and his family, none other were righteous in the sight of God in those times. So God appeared, the voice of God appeared to Noah. You see, not only Adam and Eve, in the course of human history there are some exceptions that exceptional human beings that loved God. So they could still hear the voice of God. Do you have the experience of hearing the word of God amidst all the noises, amidst all the disturbing circumstances, amidst all the things that wound your heart? Do you have the experience of hearing the calm and gentle voice of God? God will speak. In the night, in your sleep, you will hear the calm and gentle voice of God. When you read the word of God, the Holy Bible, God will speak through the word. God will speak through the dreams. God has multitude of ways to speak to you. If we have so much media and modes of communications, do you think God cannot speak to you? We have Facebook, we have YouTube, we have WeChat, we have Internet, we have Intranet. We have all sorts of wireless communications, we have satellite technology, we have optical fiber technology, we have steel materials, visible and invisible forms of modes of communications. If man were to evolve to be so wise, how much more the God with pure knowledge will be wiser than all the innovation of man, all the inventions of man. If we have the desire to hear to God, God is willing to speak to us. As God desired to speak to Adam and Eve, God is still willing to speak to you because we are created in the image of God. If God has given His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to save you, why not He will give any other thing? God possessed the most precious thing. God gave the most treasured and valuable thing in his possession to redeem you, that is Jesus Christ. Abraham, offer your son Isaac. I need your son Isaac. Offer him. It appears that God is unjust. It appears that God is tempting. It appears that God is causing pain to Abraham. But Abraham has tasted and seen that the Lord is good. Abraham knew that God is life and resurrection. Abraham was loving God more than anything in this world. Just to reveal to the world what love for God is, God is asking Abraham to offer his only son Isaac. Does God delight in the offerings of the blood and flesh? Does God delight in the offerings of bulls, goats, lambs? No. Are not all the animals on the mountains, are not all the bulls and oxes on the mountain are numbered? Are not they known to me? Will I delight in their flesh? Will I delight in their blood? God appears to be harsh. God appears to be cruel. God appears to be unjust. When God says, Abraham, I need your son Isaac. Offer him as a sacrifice. But Abraham knows who God is. Abraham knows what is the heart of God. God has given. God has taken. What a wonderful faith. What a wonderful expression of faith. Job. Job said, when he has lost his children, Job was telling, God has given, God has taken. Why do you talk like a foolish woman? We see so many foolish people around us, not knowing the love of God, not knowing the heart of God, finding fault with God, cursing God. Why to curse God? Why to blame God? The tribulations and sufferings that are awaiting man are many, many fold. 
these are only the starting of the birth pains because of the terrible harsh climatic conditions there will be blisters on the skin of man because of the great suffering man will start cursing the creator god why to curse much much gospel is preached to you much of truth is preached to you day in and day out did you repent did you mend your ways did you stop telling lies did you stop doing injustice did you stop imprisoning the righteous did you stop persecuting the righteous did you stop turning darkness to light and light to darkness no then no one will gather grapes or figs in thorns do not be mocked god in god will not be deceived with whatever measure you measure you will also be measured with the same measure do not be mocked god will not be deceived what is the point in cursing god day in and day out gospel is preached you are being warned about the consequences of your unjust acts you have not mend your ways face the music painful sorrowful blisters will grow on the skin of man not able to bear the pain man will start cursing god the creator who is at fault for the present climatic disaster no there is nothing like climate change no there is nothing like global warming we are freezing where is global warming where is heat when you go to hell you will feel the warmth where is global warming when your soul perishes and enters into the unquenchable fire then you will feel the warmth where is global warming there is nothing like global warming we are freezing do not be mocked god will not be deceived the foolishness of god is wiser than your wisdom have you stopped your unjust acts no why john the baptist is put in prison why john banyan is put in prison why paul is persecuted why peter is persecuted who has given you the authority to preach i will also ask you one more question is the baptism of john the baptist from heaven or from man if we say that the baptism given by john the baptist is from heaven then this fellow will ask if it is from heaven why do you stand against god why are you so stiff necked why are you rebelling against heaven if we say that the baptism given by john the baptist is from man people will stone us to death we are fearing the people you fear the people but you do not fear god that has given you the authority that has given you the throne shall your kingdom will be taken away from you tomorrow by this time you will be with me shaul was no more what happened to his kingdom what happened to his power are you men pleasers are you pleasers of god are you loving men are you loving world or loving god that has given you the breath those that hate his brother is still in darkness there is no love of god in him in the book of revelations the wrath of god that is awaiting is so clearly prophesied by the apostle of love 
John. This is the day of salvation. Search God when he is near. On that day people will cast out their golden idols, the rats, the all kinds of animals that the carven carven images that man is worshiping they will throw because they could not save them from the wrath of god they will cry out to the mountains to cover them from the wrath of the lamb of god the wrath of god all this suffering is awaiting man but those that love god will be protected will be guarded psalm 34 verse 10 the lions may go hungry but those that fear the lord will not lack any good thing before the great time of tribulation wrath of god the church will be raptured the church will be taken up into the midst of the heavens the church prepared for the groom will be taken up into the midst of the skies the holy bride will be taken up into the midst of the skies so the saints of god those that go forth hunger and thirst for the sake of righteousness those that are tormented by the inhabitants of earth unjustly will all be lifted up into the skies they will meet the savior they will see the lord face to face they will all be taken into the heaven and they will be in rest they will be in peace they will be in joy they will be in abundance eyes have not seen ears have not heard nor human heart has comprehended the things that god has prepared for those that love him in the blink of an eye can we imagine our souls flying like birds into the sky into the midst of the air eyes have not seen ears have not heard nor human heart has comprehended the things that god prepared for those that love him we have to learn to love god because god loved us first because God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son Jesus Christ that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but will inherit everlasting life but will inherit the grace of God John chapter 3 verse 16 because God loved us first because God gave his best his only begotten son Jesus Christ to protect us in the day of calamity in the day of trouble what is the calamity what is the trouble there is life's last battle each one of us has to fight on our own individually no king will fight for us no ruler will fight for us no army man will fight for us each man has to fight his own last battle with death this is for sure do you have the strength to fight the life's last battle do you believe you will rise victoriously in the life's last battle we can get such confidence we can get such assurance provided we accept jesus christ as our personal savior because i live you also will live because i have risen death i because i have overcome death because i have tasted the pains of death death will not have any power on you the pains of death will not have any power on you this is the victory that we have the victory that has overcome the world is our faith first corinthians chapter 15 the life's last battle is with death we have so many battles we have so many tribulations we have no less suffering in this world yet god assures we are not i am with you if god is for us who can be against us so long as god was with adam and eve so long as adam and eve were with god 
no calamity, no sorrowful event has befallen on them. Your enemy, the adversary, is roaring like a lion. Who else cares for the child rather than his mother and his father? No one. If the enemy, if the outsider comes and talks of wrong things regarding your father and mother, will you believe? The same thing has happened. The enemy, the Satan, has come to Eve and asked the first question. In the book of Genesis we see, the first question of the Satan, the devil, is to make God a liar, to prove God to be a liar, to blame God, to blaspheme God, to accuse God, and to rob man of his wonderful relationship and protection from God, to take away man from the arms of God, from the protection of God. Devil is blasphemous. Devil is liar. Devil is deceptive. Devil wants to rob your soul. The thief comes only to steal. The thief comes only to harm you. But I have come to give you life and to give you life to the fullest. I am the good shepherd. Jesus Christ is compassionate. Satan is cruel. Satan has no compassion at all. At least by my works, believe me. No good thing, no good tree will ever bear a bad fruit. Nor a bad tree will ever bear a good fruit. From my deeds, from my works, at least you believe me. I am the Messiah. I am the Savior. Here I am means not any speaker. No preacher, no pastor, no bishop can ever claim that he is Christ. Many will come in my name by wearing sheep's skin, lamb's skin, but inside they are wolves, they are cruel. They will scatter my sheep, they will rob my sheep, they will scatter my church, they will persecute my church. But you can test by their deeds, you can find who are of me, who are from me, who were sent by me. If you see love, it is characteristic seal that I have sent them. Through this, the world will know that you are my disciples. Through this love that you show towards the lamb, towards the sheep, towards your fellow brothers. Through this love, the world will know that you are my disciples. We can clearly see the spirit that is from Christ, that is of Christ and the Antichrist spirit. The Antichrist is already in the world. The Antichrist wears the skin of lamb, the skin of sheep. But inside the Antichrist is cruel, like the wolf. Will scatter the sheep, will not have any compassion on the sheep. Through this you will know that through this the world will know that you are my disciples. Through what? Through the love. Love is the characteristic seal that enables us to distinguish those that are sent by God. Go and preach the gospel throughout the world and make disciples for me. How can this happen? This can happen only when we love God above all. Abraham loved God above all. Job loved God above all. So what has happened? Abraham became the father of faith. Job regained twice of what he has lost. Will these testimonies should not educate us, should not encourage us, should not strengthen us in our faith to escape from the forthcoming wrath of God. Devil is disobedient, so devil provokes man to disobedience. Devil has no hope for eternity. Hell is preserved. Hell is reserved for devil. So, devil do not want man to inherit the presence of God. Man to again regain his glory. Again to regain his everlasting life. Everlasting life is not far away from man. The moment you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you are already in eternity. From that very point of time that you receive Jesus Christ into your heart, your eternal life begins. There are no more fears. You can be for sure that 
you have crossed the judgment for those that are in christ there is no judgment do you have such assurance do you have the assurance that all your sins are forgiven do you have the assurance that all your sins are blotted out that can happen when you receive jesus christ in the book of pilgrims progress the christian in the van in the valley of humility in the valley of humiliation humility do not uh, lead to valley humility leads to heaven in the book of pilgrims progress john the banyan so clearly sees in the vision the christian goes through the valley of humiliation no doubt when you want to be a part of the kingdom of god when you run to the arms of jesus christ when you run to the refuse jesus christ on the path you will have many tribulations on the path there is vanity of humiliation where there is the adversary the devil with the sword awaiting you to fight with all his weapons but there is no armor for the christian on the back you have to stand on your ground take the double edged sword the word of god the promises of the word word of god and fight with the devil the adversary you have to stand on the ground you should not turn your back you should not run from the devil rather take the sword the word of god and fight with the apollyon the devil in the valley of humiliation the christian has to wage a dreadful war with the enemy that will not allow the christian to run from the city that is going to perish to a safe refuge that is zion the celestial city there will be a great argument between the apollyon the satans agent devil and the christian you are my subject do you think you are savior will forgive your sins you have committed so long so many sins you are in sin you are disobedient yes what all you are accusing all are correct yet my master my savior jesus christ has given his precious life on the cross to cover all my misdeeds to cover all my sins my master my savior has promised that when i take his refuge when i go to the cross when i go to the mount zion when i go to the mount calvary that is the way to celestial city all my burden will be redeemed of me i will be delivered i will be made free from all my burden all my sins will be clothed by the righteousness of christ so my master will not accuse me my master will not judge me there will be a beautiful argument between the devil and the christian finally out of rage the devil gives a final hit to the christian by which the christian loses his sword from his heart and about to die the grace of god appears and again the double edged sword the word of god comes to the christian's hand and with one jab the christian hits the apollyon and the apollyon will be terribly wounded and runs away rebuke the satan it will flee away from you in the name of jesus we can rebuke the demonic forces all the weapons of devil that causes disbelief causes unfaithfulness will flee away from us when we take the double edged sword that is the word of god day in and day out the word of god is being preached the truth is being preached the life saving gospel life saving gospel is being preached when you board a flight the first and foremost thing is we will be instructed in the case of emergency in the case of life threatening situations what you should do 
we should hear very carefully the instructions likewise these instructions are life saving when you face a tribulation when you say when you face a battle with the devil on your soul when you face an onslaught while you are sleeping while you are walking while you are working the weapon is the name jesus christ take hold of the name jesus christ devil has to stumble devil has to shake and run away the name jesus christ is beyond man's faith in the name of jesus we have the victory over the demonic forces the christian rises victorious over the battle waged by apollyon in the valley of humiliation you may be going through humiliation you may be going through uncertainty the path ahead may be unclear god will send forth his evangelist to show you to direct you the way to light the way to a safe refuge love the god with all your heart with all your mind with all your soul with all your strength and the second commandment is equally important as the first commandment and those that fulfill these two commandments have fulfilled all the law in the sight of god the second commandment is love your neighbor as you love yourself how can we love our neighbor unless we know the love what love is we can know we can know what love is through this through this act that jesus christ has done on the cross while we were yet sinners christ died for us on the cross love do not seek of its own love believes everything love bears everything love makes no record of wrongs love lasts forever first corinthians chapter 13 if we hate our neighbor for any reason the love of god is not in us if we do not have the love of god we are not of god we are still in darkness we are not in light we can be very sure that if there is a trace of hatred in our heart regarding our brother how violent he might be for us how harsh he might be towards us we do not have the love of god and we are far away from our destination no servant is greater than the master if the people if they have called your master to be blasphemer to be the head of demonic forces belgebul they will very well call you belgebul but your deeds will distinguish you from the world your deeds will testify that you belong to me what are the deeds the deeds founded on love when grapes are crushed only grape juice will come the sweet grape juice will flow when grapes are crushed venom will not come bitterness will not come there is no bitterness in love there is no hatred in love father forgive them for they know not what they do stephen's prayer that stephen's prayer saved paul and paul became a great ministry in the days to come paul was very well there that are stoning stephen paul gave his consent to those that were violent and cruel towards stephen that are stoning stephen for no good reason stephen's face was shining like the face of angel stephen was testifying that jesus christ is the son of god i see the heavens opened and the son of god standing beside the throne of the most high when his servant stephen was thrown jesus christ was standing from his throne to receive his servant stephen into his arms in heaven blessed are you when they persecute you you will inherit the kingdom of heaven john the baptist was persecuted was beheaded Jesus Christ himself was testifying among the men that were begotten of women there is no 
one that is greater than John the Baptist. So if 